Here we go. <laughs> Oh, imagine being thrusted into a completely new place with different societal norms, a different culture, and a different language. Picture yourself being removed from everything you've ever known, a completely new place. For me, moving changed my definition of home. For me, LA and Pakistan are both my home. LA is my home because it meant growing up and going to the Bellwood Bakery to get my favorite Earl Grey latte and chocolate <laughs> croissant after dance rehearsal. Mind you, this is before I went gluten and dairy free. <laughs> <laughs> it meant going to Holby Park for every single birthday party and play date of mine till I was nine years old. Pakistan is my home because it means eating delicious food like biryani, which is a special rice dish. It meant going to weddings and dancing my butt off. It meant <laughs> applying henna in, on my palms. Pakistan and LA have truly shaped my definition of home, and it has changed me into the person I am today. I moved to Pakistan when I was 15 years old to support my mom after my parents' divorce. Although the transition was quite hard, I decided to go in with a positive and open mind. The move shaped me into the person I am today by developing my cultural identity and shaping my career path. Home. LA and Pakistan shaped my cultural identity. When I got to Pakistan, I learned Urdu, the national language of Pakistan. Although I don't pronounce it correctly, I can say almost all the basic vocabulary. Everyone there made fun of me because of my accent and how I say words in Urdu, but I didn't let that hinder me, like I still tried. So you can all imagine that during my senior year, I was selected to give a speech in Urdu for Pakistan Day. Imagine me. So although everyone thought I would fail, I practiced for hours nailing every single pronunciation of my speech. And I nailed it. That day, I really felt like a true Pakistani, and I was really proud that I was able to represent my country. It was a real big cultural awakening moment for me. My cultural identity has also been increased by making Pakistani friends. So me and my friends, we bond over Pakistani movies, the culture, the Bollywood culture, and eating really good food, which I would recommend to all of you, but you probably won't be able to handle all the spice. <laughs> Home. I am a dancer and I love dancing. It's always been my passion. So when I got to Pakistan, I knew that a way that I could immerse myself into the culture would be through dancing. So I wanted to learn Kata. So Kata is a traditional colloquial style of dance in Pakistan. The dance movements are small, intricate, and really feminine. So I believe this portrays or symbolizes the way um, the way women are need to seem conservative in Pakistan and like small and like petite and tiny. So I got to learn more about like how women are portrayed in our my in my society. Home. My homes developed my career path. Pakistan is a third world country, so there's a lot of philanthropy opportunities. So I got to get involved with various charities, charities that dealt with illiteracy, charities that dealt with um, orphanages, a nonprofit hospitals, and animal shelters. One of the hospitals I uh, volunteered at, Jinnah National Hospital, we got to raise enough money to buy a cyber knife, and a cyber knife is a machine that kills cancer tumors 
And I'm really proud to say that we are the only hospital, the only country in the world to offer that for free. It's a completely free uh, treatment. Um, organizing and working at charities really deepened my desire to give back to the community. So I added a minor in nonprofit management so I can hope to like organize more charities in the future and like make that like part of my career. Pakistan is a patriarchal society, so women are quite oppressed and suppressed. They don't really have a voice or someone to represent them. So there's major gender inequality there. I, my goal is to go to law school and become a lawyer and work here in Los Angeles, but also do pro bono work when I visit Pakistan to help give women a voice there. Home. To conclude, home for me is a place where I can thrive and be myself. LA and Pakistan are both my home. Los Angeles taught me the importance of freedom and individuality, and Pakistan taught me the importance of tradition and culture. I hope all of you have a place that you can call home, a place where you feel loved, safe, and happy. I'm truly grateful for my opportunity to move to Pakistan and to call both these places my home because they have shaped me into the person that I am today. A person who wants to create agency and a person who wants to celebrate life. If you were thrusted into an unknown, strange, unfamiliar place, what would you do? Would you make most of the situation or would you 